Progeria is a premature aging syndrome. Children with progeria are very small. They stop growing well, their hair starts to fall out, they have skin signs, and in the end, most of them die of heart failure. I don't think any parent should have to see a child die, especially of a disease like progeria. When we were told just before Sam's second birthday that he basically had a death sentence, it was really impossible for us to accept. Nobody knew the cause. There are no nonprofit organizations. There's no center for progeria. There was just nowhere for us and other families to go. It was this disease that nobody had really paid any attention to. Nobody had said that we, we want to do something about this because it was so rare. We were just not going to sit around and let this happen to him without fighting. I will never forget the day that Scott and Leslie came to me and said, we need to start a foundation. And I looked at them, I said, let's do it. This is a lousy disease. No, no, no child should have this. And as a grandfather of a little girl, you know, you want to solve the problem. So I turned to PRF and I said, what do you guys need? Our mission encompasses three areas. Find the child wherever they are in the world. Find the way, doing the research to determine what is going to get to this disease and find the cure through the clinical drug trials. In order to help the children, we have to find the children needed to reach out to them in all parts of the globe. We really had to cast a wide net to find these children, and it's a very rare condition. We had these partners that we fed press releases to and, I, and images of the children, and one of them was in Brazil, literally in the middle of the Amazon. And they put that child on the cover of the largest Brazilian magazine. These kids are everywhere. We have over a hundred children in our international progeria registry, and that's fantastic, but we are still searching for about 250 children throughout the world. They travel, some of them, for two full days to participate in these clinical drug trials so their children can have a chance at a longer and a healthier life. Well, key step in finding the way was that we needed to find the gene, and it was the first major step on the way to the cure. We found a gene mutation and said, okay, what does this have to do with progeria? And what does this have to do with aging? Now that we knew what caused it, we could say, okay, here's the problem. Now let's get to the answer. Immediately, we could repurpose a drug that had been developed, and we discovered that lanafarinib is actually helping the children to live longer. Sam was diagnosed with progeria. We were told the average age was 13 years, and now children are living longer who are on the treatment. That's a tremendous success. What it really tells us is that we can do something about this disease, that we can push this disease towards health. It allows us to be hopeful that we'll be here when the time comes. It gives us the strength to keep fighting. What we've been able to accomplish in such a short amount of time is virtually unheard of in the scientific community. Scientists from all over the world coming in to talk about what their discoveries are and how we can get to not only treatments, but cure. The idea that the cure is out there and it's within our sight is the most hopeful thing that we can have. The doors of science were just completely flung open now. In the bank right now, we have over a thousand samples, hundreds of cell lines, and we've distributed those to over 150 laboratories in 20 different countries. We will find the cure so that those families will be able to see their child change the world. I will never forget one child. He said, I know that this isn't for me because you won't be able to save me, but I'm doing this for the other kids. And that to me is the definition of a hero. You can believe me when I tell you that these people will not stop. Until these kids are cured, we will continue. I've seen too many kids pass away. We are so close. We have to do this now. These kids, you know, they just don't have the time for us to, uh, to wait. 
Sam's legacy and his inspiration is embedded in everything that we do at the Gajeri Research Foundation, and that will continue to drive us, and absolutely together we will find the cure.